thank you so much for buying lessons from me and supporting my small business. I really appreciate it. Now I'm going to teach you how to put it on. If this is your first time using Lip Sense, you're going to want to make sure that your starter set includes a lip color, glossy gloss, and a remover. You want to trap all those colors with glossy gloss first, and then once it soaks in, you can add those other fun glosses to it. Using Lip Sense is definitely a learning curve, so we want to make sure that we apply it the right way so we get the best wear out of our lip color. So just follow these simple directions and you will enjoy long lasting lip color up to 18 hours. The first thing you're going to do is clean your lips with warm water on a clean washcloth. Make sure you remove any residue from your makeup because even if you think that your lips are clean, some of us are habitual lip lickers, myself included, which puts saliva on your lips and saliva can break it down as we're putting it on. So you just want to make sure that you're getting um, any foundation left over from your makeup or moisturizers that would inhibit your uh, lip color from lasting even longer. So once those lips are clean with just water, that's all you need to use, um, and we're going to make sure that they dry, then we're on to the next step. Some people wonder how often you need to shake it. Well, it's going to take a little while for all those pigments because these are plant and mineral pigments set in cosmetic grade alcohol and we want to get the color evenly dispersed throughout the whole tube. So then we have nice even application. So I would say longer than you think because when I watch people um, do it for the first time, they'll just grab it and go. So I don't want you to give it a two to three seconds. Go ahead and give it a shake for about 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, the darker the color or the more matte the color, the more you're going to need to shake it and get those pigments to be um, moving around because they're a little bit heavier. Okay, your first layer you're going to apply and you're going to just go in one direction, one layer at a time. You're going to apply three layers. The first one bonds to our lip, the second one protects the first one, and then the third one protects from friction that comes from our foods that have oils in it or any vinegar or acidic food as well as just the air, water, and now you want your layers to be as thin as water gliding over the top. You don't want to have to be pressing your wand into your lip. So remember, we're going one direction and we're going to let it dry. Remember, we want to let it set so it is going to be sheer and not exactly evenly applied our first time around. So now that we've shaken up our tube for about 15 to 30 seconds, we're going to apply our first layer. What I like to do you look at the head of our brush, it's a dough headed brush so that it's got this little curve here. So you wipe off any excess on your brush and I take that edge of my brush and I line my lips. You don't have to line your lips with lip sense because it doesn't bleed but it just helps me stay in the lines better. So that's what I'm going to do first. Hold your lips at top and apart. Otherwise, it looks like you've already started wearing off and it's just that you didn't apply it. So um, I did my first layer around um, the outside now I'm going to fill in my lips. You see I'm not pushing extremely hard on my lips here and just out of habit I am constantly shaking the tube. Um, but I'm going to pick up a little bit more color and finish my waterline. And I'm going to let that dry for about 15 to 30 seconds. When you give a lot of dry time in between your layers, your lipstick tends to last longer. So just make sure that you're giving it time. If you have time, then you can just fan it and let it go. Usually I'm kind of doing something else with my makeup when I'm getting ready. Or you could use one of these fans. It feels really good because it's hot in California. I'm just going to repeat what I did on my second and third layer. So it's shaken up really good. I've let it dry in between and I'm going to line my lips, but I'm going to go the opposite direction. I wiped off too much excess.
I promise you that this is the time when your kids are going to ask you like a hundred million questions is when you can't put your lips together. It's no joke. Okay, last layer. Let's go for it. always want to track your color in with glossy gloss first. We have a lot of amazing glosses and it's fun to put them on top, but glossy gloss is the best at trapping that color in while hydrating your lips. If this is your first time using lip scents, make sure that your starter set comes with glossy gloss and that you use glossy gloss for the first two weeks. And also remember that that's the one that's gonna hydrate your lips as you're going through an exfoliation process that your skin naturally does and our products allow. So you're gonna be having the shedding going on, um, maybe wearing off on your waterline at first. Know that that's normal and okay, and this is just the process that gets you to your softest lips ever. So we want you to use that Glossy Gloss as much as possible. So again, if this is your first time using Glossy Gloss, um, you're gonna follow a couple rules. You wanna follow these three simple rules to get the best results. Number one, you're gonna use a lot of gloss in the beginning, like overcoat. You're gonna feel like, wow, this is a lot of gloss. And that's okay. We want you to cover up that uh, color and really trap it in, and we wanna get moisture as fast as possible to those lips. Number two, you're gonna gloss more often than you will as your lips become soft and used to our products. So your lips are no longer coated by wax and no longer going to be feeling dry. Um, but in the beginning, you're getting rid of all those dead uh, skin cells and all that wax layers that have been covered and coated on your lips for years. So that's a, kind of a process. So while you're in that process and your lips are shedding, your lip color won't last as long. We kind of expect the exfoliation phase to last about two to four weeks, just depending on how dry your lips are and from which point you start. So in the beginning, when you're glossing, make sure that you gloss about three to five times a day, if not more. Anytime that you start to feel like your lips don't slide right across each other, go ahead and apply your gloss. The more you gloss, the better your results are and the faster um, you will get amazing results with the lip color, the faster it'll last longer. And number three is wear your gloss to bed. I also recommend using our lip volumizer or lip balm because those are super hydrating and they're really good for your lips. So if you feel weird about wearing gloss to bed, go ahead and contact your uh, Cinegen's rep, hopefully it's me. Um, go ahead and contact me and let me know that you need a lip balm or lip volumizer. I personally use our lip volumizer and I love it, love, love, love it. Um, those are our two most hydrating products that will really help you get through that exfoliation phase. And then um, the wonderful thing about using Lip Sense is our addiction to having something in our pocket because we need to have it is um, no more. Lip Sense is amazing. You won't ever have to use chapstick ever again. Ever again! That's awesome. Okay? You're going to have beautiful soft lips. Your color is going to last all day. You're not going to have to worry about what it looks like or if you're eating your lip color because it is staying put. There's nothing to it. And I hope you enjoy your new products and let me know when you want to order another color. Thanks. I bought loose. Oh. A. I don't have any. The first thing you're gonna do is the third one protects from outside influences like and the third one protects from outside So dark pink, oh crap, no I don't wanna do that. Or constant saliva if you're a lip licker. <laughs> 